four brothers. And personally, I, I come from from France, from uh, monastery in France, and, and I, I am the leader. I came to Norway in 2009, and uh, I was uh, involved for the liturgy in Montkebu, and uh, we have uh, several times. Uh, Prayers during the day. We started uh, quite early, quite past four, and uh, uh, during the day we gather all to, uh, together for other time to, to pray. Again, the last one is compline, and this time is a big part of uh, our life. It's a gift from God to us to have them here. It's, um, the monks are very uh, friendly and uh, open and they are very interested also about the people living here. It's also having them here, we have the possibility to, to visit them and to, to take part in their uh, life and, um, and to get closer to, yeah, closer to God. I, I, I'm Brother Joseph. I, I came to Monkey from Ireland. I came in 2015. Our main activity is um, cheese making, but in addition to that, we also work with all the common things we do in a, with housework to um, make food ourselves, to wash the house, and, and so on. It's part of our daily life. Each week we, we, uh, we have a uh, cheese production and we uh, produce 180 whole cheese. And it goes to our customers. With, uh, we have customers all over Norway, to restaurants and boutiques. I think after uh, 12 years in, in this house, some, some, uh, it's a little monastery, but, but uh, it's not so big and, uh, and our chapel is, is small. It's difficult to, to welcome people to pray with us. So it's time for us to build a monastery. And also if we have candidates, it's better if they can uh, experience uh, monastic life in, uh, in a monastery, a bigger church. So th this building project is uh quite uh, important and so we, we get uh, a lot of support, especially from Bonifatius Werk in Germany. Auf der grünen Wiese haben sozusagen die Planungen für den Neubau des Klosters in Norwegen begonnen und ich bin dankbar, dass ich im Namen des Bonifatius Werkes von Anfang an dabei sein konnte. Die verschiedenen Schritte, die dort gegangen wurden in den verschiedenen Bauabschnitten und dieser Ort ist wirklich ein Ort, wo Menschen Ora et Labora erleben können, einen Atemraum des Glaubens, wo im Geist des Evangeliums aus alten Wurzeln ein neues, lebendiges Klosterleben entsteht. Das Bonifatiuswerk der deutschen Katholiken und das Diaspora-Kommissariat hat es von Anfang an gefördert. Die Mönche wollen mit uns gemeinsam die nächsten Schritte gehen. Sie brauchen unsere und ihre Unterstützung. Vergelt's Gott für ihre Hilfe und ihr Gebet.